G'day, hey, hi, and welcome. All right. We have many, many videos on YouTube on how to sharpen a chainsaw, which is fine. I take no issue or have no problem with that. But we don't have a single video on the internet anywhere on how to properly dull your chain on your chainsaw. Exhibit A, Manitoba, the beheading of a Manitoba maple thump. So if you're cutting these little guys, you gotta watch so that you don't hit the ground too much because you will mess up your chain. But that's not usually what really messes up. It's when your little fiery little stump fights back and wears body armor. Yeah. Yeah, that'll dull your chain really, really, really well. <laughs> Uh, this saw, uh, this little husky, the, it's a little husk of iron at 235. Um, I haven't totally earned it yet. I still got about 13 and a half hours left uh, to, you know, of time on this to uh, earn it back. But um, it's pretty much uh, made me almost paid for itself once. I, I've been starting to use it a lot. I still have to do a... Uh, uh, a chain adjustment on it, uh, well, I gotta resharpen, but, um, like, idle adjustment on it, uh, then it's pretty much good to go. The more I use it, the more it seems to be running better and better and better. So, it's turned out to be a dandy little saw. So, I was doing a whole bunch of these little guys, these little Manitoba maples. is usually everybody's most hated tree, but it's my favorite because everybody hates them and they want them cut down, which means I make money off them. So, why I try to get these stumps gone, little saws like this, uh, or, you know, maybe not the best. A brush, brush cutter would be better, but my brush cutter's not working right now. But sometimes you can't get a brush cutter into the place and you have to use the chainsaw. The heck was that? Uh, anyway, uh, it works good against these guys. Uh, rather than leaving all these, like if you get it down to just the one stump, you don't end up with all these. So you, you can't kill these roots. Uh, they're almost impossible. But do watch out for stuff like this. That one made a racket. Dring. I was like, oh my God, he has body armor on. It was in like, kind of like this and whatever. And I nipped him pretty good with the chain. So you can see like the, the edge of the tooth there. I don't know if you, you can see it's kind of rounded off there, rounded up there. Uh, the last time I used this, I, I, I hit a barrel. I hit the fence twice. I hit that thing. I went into the ground a few times. So what I, what I would recommend is have two chains, one for your like your good cutting and stuff like that, and then a chain that you can kind of sacrifice. I I should be able to sharpen this up. Uh, because the teeth ain't too, too bad, but de you definitely want to give them a good, uh, that tooth is fine, that tooth is fine. That one's fine. That one's not fine. That one's seen better days. Yeah, so you just got to watch the, when you're hitting, you know, when you hit stuff, you know, and then, of course, check out your rakers after. Uh, most people sharpen the tooth, but they never do the rakers. And at, at some point, what happens is you sharpen enough of the tooth away, the raker is, like, too high, and it's, like, your tooth should be, like, I don't know if I can get it right, but it's kind of like, a, eh. So there's your raker, there's your tooth, and then when you keep sharpening back, what happens is the tooth goes below the raker, and then you can't, um, it doesn't cut, because you simply just got, you're just, it's just raker spinning. So, you, you should be able to tell by sound what uh, is going on. Uh, I loosen up my chains usually at the end of the day. Another little tip, what am I doing for time again? This other little tip. So what, like I've hit the fence like this and stuff like that with it the other day. So I definitely got to sharpen it up. As soon as you hit the ground, you should sharpen it up right away. Um, and of course, if you hit something like this. <laughs> so I did maybe about 20 or 30 of, the, 30 of these the other day. So I, re I really pounded this chain down a bit. So it's going to, I'm going to have to give it a real fine tooth. Uh, you know, fine uh find uh fine sharpening right which i might do today i don't know if i have time because i gotta go to the church pretty soon but uh the chain yes i'll make a, a why the chain is loose i'll, I'll, t I'll tell you a, tell you that in the next video